Okay, so take 127. I hope you guys can see me good. I'm probably going to have to lean over here because it's really sunny and it's getting hot. My sleeves are getting hot. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Eno and I'm so so glad to have you join me in today's video. As you can already tell by the title, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some of my major takeaways from the year 2021 and these are the same lessons that I'm going to bring you with me into the new year. So before we get into today's video, please i want to ask you to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down in the section um comment section below letting me know you subscribe just type in i subscribe and i'll be more than happy to reply to your comments and interact with you for a little bit if you end up enjoying this video please do well to give this video a thumbs up and let me know any other video suggestions you would like to see from me and without further ado let's get into today's video so the if you see me looking down i'm looking at my journal because i have some points jotted down so i don't lose my train of thought also these are in no particular order so without any more rambling let's get into today's video so 2021 you guys remember at the end of 2021 yeah everyone was using the sound thank you for the happiest years of my life and what was the other one like it was everywhere and i remember my friend posting on her status like this was am i such a terrible person that this was not the happiest year of my life and i could completely relate because 2021 although it was a good year it wasn't like the best year of my life do you understand so at first i thought that oh i don't have anything to be grateful for like not like i don't have anything to be grateful for but there was nothing major life change and drastic that I could say okay this thing happened therefore this has been the best year of my life you know i didn't even do like a year in review you know how at the end of the year everybody on instagram will be posting yeah january february march april i didn't do none of that because i didn't feel like 2021 deserved that kind of attention do you get me but then just like when i was having my devotional god placed it in my heart that yo you might not have had material things happen to you but internally there's so much that you learn and you can share with people because people will be able to resonate with this and they can also learn from the things you're sharing and hence the birth of this video so i'm really excited um to share with you guys okay enough you guys see i talk too much about so the first takeaway i have from 2021 is just the fact that manifestation is real i know recently there has been a surge in so much like manifestation content people coming out talking about it the secrets you know like there's just so much going on about manifestation right now and it's because it genuinely works and i had my fair share of personal experience last year i manifested the phone i'm currently vlogging on right now i remember printing out a picture of this exact phone that i'm recording on right now placing it on my my draw my um my wardrobe like the door and like every morning i'll look at it and i was just manifesting that phone and i got that phone this year you guys crazy i also manifested my laptop i manifested some other experiences that i had throughout the year 2021 if you guys want a more in-depth video into like manifestation how it works how i did it how i do manifestation then please leave it in the comment section leave it in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to share it with you so that you can get everything you desire this year 2022 because it genuinely works so my second lesson um that i learned from 2021 is just the fact that i became so so much more self-aware i've always considered myself to be a self-aware person because i'm really kind of like sensitive and I, I used to be a huge people pleaser so i was super observant and super aware of the impacts that i had on other people because god forbid i miss i make somebody feel uncomfortable do you understand so i've always had that in me but last year in fact 2020 stroke 2020 one the level of self-awareness that i unlocked is just insane you guys at any given point i knew how i was feeling i knew why i was feeling that way and i knew what to do to get myself out of a funk and the first time i heard this was from brini lee shout out to brini if you know brini please just like leave it in the comments or whatever but like shout out to brini because the first time i said um, i heard her i was watching her videos and she said at any given point i know how i feel i was like that, what because what but last year you guys i became so much more attuned 
is that the word <laughs> i became so much more attuned with my emotions with myself with my feelings that you cannot tell me nothing about myself like you cannot come to me and say yo why are you feeling sad right now without me already knowing that i'm feeling sad you cannot come and tell me oh yeah you're jealous without me already knowing that i'm jealous do you understand so it was it was such a cool such a cool vibe <laughs> for lack of a better word to be on the fact that i knew myself and i was able to re relate with myself at a deeper level and honestly i can teach you this as well because this channel is about education about just growing and learning together so if you also want to know how you can be more self-aware because trust me there are so many benefits that come with being a self-aware person that come with being in touch with your emotions your feelings your experiences and how that affects you and other people so if you want me to teach you or to share with you how I became a very self-aware person, let, let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below. Along with being more self-aware was the fact that I stopped being so hard on myself. I was like my biggest critic, you know, and not to say that I have stopped being that person because growth is not linear, you know, it's kind of like a roller coaster. I'm still getting better, but Compared to how hard I used to be on myself, 2021 was a year where I really learned to love myself, to appreciate the effort that I was making in my day-to-day -day life. You guys, being an adult is not easy. Being an adult is not easy. And if you're out there showing up for yourself every single day with school, with your finances, still having time to like be a baby girl because maintaining a baby girl lifestyle, let's not even get into that taking care of your skin, eating healthy, working out, having to deal with your parents and your relationships and all of that. It's crazy. And the least thing that you need is to be your own biggest critic. So learning to step back from just criticizing myself and treating myself the way I would treat my best friend if she was going through something bad or having a difficult moment was just a game changer. It was a game changer for me. And I'm definitely going to be doing more of that in the new year. Hmm. This one is deep, y'all. This one, I think this is honestly my favorite lesson from the year 2021 because I just realized how much I have been missing out on, honestly. I've always been kind of like a more independent person. <laughs> so with that came the idea that I didn't really need people. So even when I have problems, even though I have people around me that want to help me get out of those problems, I would rather just figure it out by myself. So i ended up thinking that you know what i don't really need people because what do i need you for you were not there at my lowest you didn't get me through my lowest so therefore i don't need you when i'm at my best do you understand like what makes you think that now that i'm good i'm going to rely on you make it make sense that's how i i thought honestly and that really affected my relationships a lot because i didn't care if anybody stayed or left I didn't care. I was happy being by myself. I have always enjoyed, not like I've always enjoyed my own company, but I've learned to enjoy my own company. So I didn't care a lot about my relationships. But <laughs> 2021, I had so much going on. I don't even want to go into details, but I had so much going on. My time was being dragged here and there by job, school. It, there was a lot going on. So I remember being literally at my lowest lowest and for the first time in my life i didn't stay and like just try and figure it out on my own like i usually did i turned to my friend i remember going to her room that night i knocked on her door she's usually like the jovial type so she was just like hi baby what's up and i just came into her room i stayed on her bed and i cried for like yo like an hour or more like literally so i think that day was just like the beginning of this realization that your friendship is actually very beautiful and i need friends and i want to have friends and i want to be that person that has good friends you know i don't want to keep being that lone ranger so yes so that day i really realized the importance of having people to talk to like i could have honestly gotten myself through that day you know but i turned to her and she helped me it really just made me realize um the fact that 
I had been ignoring people who genuinely cared about me, people who genuinely wanted to be there for me, people who genuinely had my best interests at heart. I had been ignoring them because I was letting past experiences when I didn't really have anybody to determine how I treated my present relationships. So in conclusion of this, um, this point, let people be there for you let people be there for you especially if you're used to getting yourself through your hard times i'm not saying that people will never disappoint you because we're all humans we fail at some point but if you know that you have people in your life that love you that want the best for you guys i'm so sorry about how bad the sun is but that love you that want the best for you let them show up for you let them actually be there for you so it was just really cool to see that I could go to my friend at a time when I was really low and she would actually be there for me. And yeah, so love people who love you. Honestly, there's no time to waste on loving somebody that doesn't show you, like that doesn't reciprocate love. You get if somebody shows you that yo, I'm on your team, I love you, I want the best for you. Freaking do times three. My last point <laughs> is this phrase, and I want you to like keep this phrase in your head and take it with you every single day and the phrase is you are who you think you are i'm really sorry about how the light has been fluctuating i think the sun is like setting or something and but we're going to keep going people will look at you people out will address you by the person you show them you are by the way you carry yourself by the way you conduct yourself and i remember thinking to myself at the beginning of 2021 that i want to be more authentically me i want to show up every day like the woman that i want to be perceived as and that's honestly what i did i tried to reflect that person the attributes and the characters of that woman through my dressing through my mannerisms through my speech through my interactions, you know, I started seeing that the level of love and respect that I received from other people increased drastically. Why? Because the level of love and respect I was giving to myself also increased. Do you understand? So literally people perceive you the way you perceive yourself. You really need to portray yourself as that person. You cannot be insecure and basically portray that insecurity and expect people to look at you as confident now i'm not saying i've gotten rid of all my insecurities because trust me i still have them but i know that that's not how i want people to see me so i cannot be leading with my insecurities it was just really cool to see the direct effects that my own thoughts my own opinions about myself had on my life and had on other people's perceptions and the way they treated me in general i'm going to leave you with this quote and the quote is give love and it will definitely come back to you i believe so strongly in this quote that whatever you put out into the world comes back to you especially when it's love give hugs gives compliments give smiles <laughs> just just make your aura one that radiates love and it will come back to you and this is like the biggest thing that i know for a fact that i'm still gonna keep doing in the new year because it's brought so much blessings and quality relationships and opportunities and experiences because i love experiences to me last year so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please let me know in the comment section below what point resonated the most with you which one you're going to adopt in your life in the new year or what's your own highlights and what's your own major takeaways from the year 2021 where i'd love to interact with you guys in the comment section down below also if you have not subscribed yet and you got to the end of this video what are you waiting for sweetie please subscribe and um yes turn on your notification bell so that you can always know when i have a new upload on my youtube channel and yes thank you my lovelies and until next time <laughs> until next video i I love you guys <laughs> no 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 until my next video i will see you soon how do you close a youtube video forms so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you in my next video
This side. Y'all, they put on the gem. I told them to put on the gem until I'm done. Like, I'm literally almost done. I'm on the last point. Guys. So, like, I just filmed my first YouTube video. That's on period. I'm kidding. That's on all you haters that said that I wasn't going to do it. Babes, I filmed my video. I filmed my video. And I look so good. Like, my skin literally looks like gold. I don't even understand what's happening. But, like, why does it look this good on camera? And I was worried that my skin won't look good on camera. But here I am. <laughs> I'm so excited, gosh. Like, I legit thought I wasn't going to get to the end of this video. And I did. I'm so proud of myself. Also, why do I look so oily? Cause like see my forehead anyways thanks